Hello everybody, welcome back to the Coventry Collab. It's my turn to have a month in charge of Coventry and we start on the results page or the schedule and we look at how Pulp Song's done and it's been a mixed bag. He's smashed Kettering 5-0. He's covered all of these in his blog. Go check it out, themazydrivel.com. That's the whole point of this save. It is combined. He's had he's done pretty well. Some losses in there, but generally pretty good. Jody Jones has again come runner up in the Young Player of the Month award, so he's doing all right. And a little note that was left to me was that Yakubu is utter tosh. And this week in real life, Yakubu has just had his contract mutually terminated by Coventry. And because he's so shit, I'm going to release him on a free. He's gone. That's it. Done. Yakubu is out of here. He has been terrible for us. He's been terrible for Coventry in real life. He's gone. And I realise now the intro has featuring Yakubu in it. And he's no longer at the club. Might have to make a new intro. But <laughs> um, cracking start to the episode. But we playing today, so this is who we've got. Back to the schedule. We're going to be playing Stevenage in the FA Cup. And then the end of the month, we'll be playing Peterborough away in the Skybet League 1. And we're playing these games offline. Well, so you'll only see the Stevenage and the Peterborough games. I'm going to have a quick look at the transfer list and quick look to see what players are out there. Because we have January coming up, which means transfers, transfers, transfers. Within our squad, appearances-wise, Jordan Turnbull has made the most appearances this year. 24 in total, two of them as a sub. Uh, Vladimir Gedzev, surprisingly, although he's been sent off twice, has still made 22 appearances as well. Jordan Wills, and then Farland Rawson is the highest appearance maker on loan. And another note I got from Pulp Song was sorry. That's clearly all it said was sorry. And it's because Josh Harrop has broken his ankle. One of our star men, questionable, one of our players who should be our star men, has broken his ankle and is out for four months. I know, I know, well, I feel his pain after dislocating my ankle twice. I know what it's like to have a serious ankle injury. But we keep going. I mean, uh, there's a perfectly good player here called Harry Charsley, someone I've bought in. Look at this. What a player. Okay, he hasn't been brilliant, but we, we've got cover. We have got a lot of cover. So, no more messing around. We're going to go into the Stevenage game, and I shall see you guys there. I won't see you there, because the board have blocked Yakubu. They've blocked the free transfer of Yakubu. So, the next best thing to do is to offer him to clubs. He's worth 18k. Let's get 10k for him. Why not? We'll just get some money in for him. See you later, Yak. You're off. No one wants him. Right. Here we go. Right, I'll see you at the kickoff. Okay, so this is how we line up for the game against Stevenage. Charles Cook comes back in goal. Rawson, Wills, Turnbull and Harries is the back four. Gadsev sits in front of them. Bigley Armour and Stevenson play in the midfield too. Jones keeps his place at right wing. Lameris is on at left wing. And Filovi comes in up front, who has hit a little bit of form recently. He's not been into... He's been awful. What was I talking about? Must be in the cup, he's in a bit of form. This is a cup game, but we've gone with a strong lineup because I want to get through this round. So the game gets underway, and Steven is kick us off, and they've given it straight to Rawson into Bigley Armour. Stevenson brings it forward, but that's the end of that highlight. Um, as I said, please go and check out Pop Song's blog because he blogs about all the games he does. I don't go into any detail about them. And leave a like if you're enjoying this video. If you're enjoying the series and the idea of it, leave a like and leave us a little note and say something. And we've gone 1-0 down. That could be an own goal. It's not. It's Charlie Lee, assisted by Yobi McEnough, someone we were actually looking at bringing into the club, and it just never happened. So that's a good story, wasn't it? So corner comes in from Yobi McEnough, swings it into the middle. There's a bit of a melee going on. Lee out jumps Turnbull. Charles Reese cook is nowhere to be seen near the ball. And uh, yeah, we're 1-0 down and Stevenage have the lead and have pretty much been dominating the game. I wanted a win from this game and it's not not going very well at the moment at all. So let's have a look. Let's change some things up here then. So central midfielder on attack. Uh, you can stay box to box. That's all right. Yeah, right. You guys can be complete wing backs. Let's get you forward and get you crossing the ball. Get onto the instructions. We want to look for the overlap now. We're happy playing out of defence. Let's mix up the passing, up the tempo. Let's attack them. Let's get into them. Right, Michael Filovi is coming off. He hasn't played very well as well. George Thomas was always a person who was on form for me, so he can come back in. 
and he can sit up there as a false nine. He got a couple of goals like that for me before. Lemiris isn't playing the best. He may be coming off pretty soon. Big is also having a poor game, which is annoying because he's one of our better players. So we need him to perform. But we get out there. Um, I didn't do a team talk, so we'll do one now that says show some passion as we bring the ball forward and that's the end of the kickoff highlight and I always just start to commentate it as the time is massively ticking down and we're already into the 70 minute mark we'll probably do the next game on extended highlights to be fair just so that we can see a bit more Divine Na is going to come on for Big the Armour and we're going to bring him on as an advanced playmaker on support let's just get a bit more of the ball moving around boys let's, let's try and do this this is rubbish um, Harry's having a poor game so he's going to be replaced by Haynes and we'll go from there. We need to pick up a bit of four. Well, we need a goal. That's what we need. We don't need four. We need a goal. So we're going to go up to attacking. We're going to go very fluid. We're going to get the players moving around. Um, we will close them down more. We'll prevent short goal contribution. We'll still sit quite narrow. We'll get stuck in. We're going to run at them. Um, Let's pass into space as well. We've got pace up there. We've got pace at the front three, so let's use it. As Stevenson has picked up a knock, which is very, very annoying. A groin strain. He's going to have to stay on because we've used all three subs. As we tick down into the last few minutes, Cowan's with the ball in back post. Wilkinson keeps in Turnbull with a great tackle. Now, look at this counter-attack. Jones, Thomas, you're through. I've brought you in. George Thomas, he's one-on-one. -on -one. He's hit the post. I honestly thought he had placed that into the bottom corner. He's hit the, but he should score. He should score, and he's at the post. Divine Nar is tackled. McEnough on the left wing now to Lee. Put him under pressure. Cohen's, Cohen's is there. Up to Kennedy. Kennedy turns. We need to get this ball back. Gadzev, you absolute toss pot. If you've got a sent off again, you're an idiot. You're such an idiot. You are. Su he's he's walking a thin line. Gadzev is walking a very thin line in this save. About. Never playing for me again. I, I can't afford to put a defensive player back there. So that's going to be the game. We've lost it 1-0. We've hit the post. I mean, look at that. After the slight formation changes, we've battered them. I've let him do the team talk. We're out of whatever cup that was. I can't remember what it was. Was it the FA Cup? It was the FA Cup. We've gone out of the FA Cup in the second round to Stevenage, which is absolutely crap. Ben Stevenson's injured. It's all going wrong. Gadzev's banned. He's getting a two-week wage fine. Um, we're not going to appeal against it. And his accept is fine. He knows he's an idiot. So he knows he's an idiot. What a complete toss pot. What an absolute toss pot. Ugh. Right. We'll be back for the... Well, the end of the it was the Peterborough game. That's when we're back for. I'm going to play Barnet, South and South at Sheffield United and Bristol Rovers all offline. And we'll be back for the game away at Peterborough where hopefully... We would have picked up some form to go along with that Manager of the Month award that we got for the last month, I think it was, or maybe October. But yeah, so I'll see you for the Peterborough game. Cheers. Okay, so we're back to face Peterborough, and we've had a bit of an interesting mix in between. So uh, the month started with us playing Stevenage, where we lost 1-0 in the FA Cup. We followed that up with a checker trade trophy win against Barnett 2-0, with Tudguy getting both the goals. We then drew 2-2 with South End. Liam Walsh and Kevin Foley getting our goals. Well, Giri Bigliama got us a consolation, but we lost 2-1 to Sheffield United. And we've just beaten Bristol Rovers away 3-1, with Jody Jones and Marcus Tudguy getting goals. And it leads us on to the final game of the month against Peterborough. So we'll play that and then we'll have a little recap about everything and everyone and how we're leaving it for Pulp Song. I mean, I'm hoping he'll be happy because we're still doing all right in the league. But I'll see you at kickoff for the Peterborough game. Okay, so we are away playing in red and this is how we line up for today's game. We have Charles Cook in goal, Rawson, Willis, Turnbull and Harrys at the back four. We've gone for a slightly different formation that I've been trying to adapt in the previous games that we went through. Bigliama is a box-to-box -box midfielder. Stevenson is a ball midfielder on defend. We have three players in front of that. Charles Lee to drop back and help him get the ball. Walsh is an attacking playmaker. Jody Jones is the shadow striker with Tudguy up front. And we are hoping that this will, you know, give us a win. Obviously, that's what we're hoping for. So the team talk hasn't gone brilliantly well, but the game is underway as Harry's brings it forward. We've kicked off and, yeah, we've been doing all right. To, to be fair, as a duo, Polk Song and I have actually been playing pretty damn well I did say we were going to put this game onto extended because the last one was pretty short so we'll change it up to extended and see what we get in the highlights so far 
nothing has changed whatsoever. We may need to really look at their formation, include some width in this. So we might push two people out as wingers later on as Smith fires wide for Peterborough. And they have the real first opportunity of the game. And we're not creating very much at all. But here's Harry's into Stevens. Out to Bigliama, who's been instrumental. Tud guy. Oh, he's in good form. But he's fired that one over. And yeah, we're just... I don't know. We create normally quite a few chances. But we just can't put them in the net. But today, Peterborough seems to be nullifying us quite well. As Harry Charlesley comes forward. Out to Rawson. Rawson ball in. Harry Charlesley. Oh, he's at the post. So unlucky for the Everton loney. And yeah, we need to sort this out. Luckily, um, Yakubu's picked up an injury. I tried to release him on a free, as you saw earlier. Board weren't having any of it. Um, he played what the next game and was awful. Um, so and then we didn't have to worry about it because he picked up an injury. His Walsh just fires wide. He's out for two to three months. So I don't think we're going to be able to sell him in January either. We're not going to renew his contract. He's been absolutely horrendous for us. But yeah, that's just how it goes with the players like that. We knew what he was. Unfortunately... Yeah, the title intro has his name in it. But what can you do? That's that's neither here nor there. So, uh, I'm far from pleased. Let's look to motivate them and fire them up. They seem happy with that. Get out there and get a win. As I said, we may go to wingers. Or at least move them out wide and play them as inside forwards. But we'll see what happens. Might be worth changing up the centre midfielders as well. Going back to the formation that both Polkjong and I prefer to use. But there is a counter-attack on Tudgai. He's got someone on the right-hand side. He is. It's Bigger Armour. Our best player probably shoots. High, wide and handsome. Not very good. I and mean, we still haven't created one clear-cut chance yet. I'm going to give it until about 55, 60 minutes. And then maybe mix it up as Turnbull does well there. Harry's brings it forward, the left-back. He's blocked and back to Smith from Nichols. Smith brings it forward into Nichols' feet again to Anderson. And Peterborough are keeping the ball very well. Are they going to force my hand with a goal here to make me change it? What a tackle from Turnbull. Ball in and Angle has put it over. And I'm still going to give it, yeah, another 5 or 10. Tud guy's not having a good game up front. Charlesley and Walsh are actually looking at the... Well, we'll let this corner play out. But looking at the ratings, we're not actually playing that well at all. So Tud guy picks up the header from the corner into Stevenson. Bigliama. Bigliama to Walsh. Walsh into Jones. Jones card. Charlesley tries to place it into the cop corner. Just run out of luck, it said in the commentary. But with that, we are going to change things up a bit. So Jody Jones can sit out here as an inside forward on attack. Let's get a bit more going forward. Stevenson or Bigley Armour can sit there. What's Charlesley doing? Charlesley's having an absolutely terrible game. So what we're going to do is this. And we're actually going to put Stevenson there. He's going to be a central midfielder on attack because that's how he's got a lot of his goals. Walsh can sit in there. Is he having? He's having an equally as terrible game. So Walsh is going to come off and be replaced by Kevin Foley can play in there. But he's going to play as the halfback because that's what I like them to do. Drop in between the middle two and try and get the ball. Charlesley in the side forward on attack. And unfortunately we're going to have to keep Tudgai on for the moment I think. Harry Charlesley is going to come off and be replaced by Ruben Lamelieres, who I think prefers the other side as an inside forward. No he doesn't really mind. That's the way round we'll play it for now. Tud Guy gets a little bit of time until George Thomas or Phil Ovi is going to come on. Tud Guy has got us out of a lot of trouble recently, especially against Bristol Rovers. He was absolutely superb. Big of the armour shoots and it goes just wide. It actually took a deflection, so we've got a corner from it. And we're getting much more into the game. Hopefully the tactical switch will give us a few more opportunities. That's a poor ball from Stevens. Mikhail Smith, well, that's just a clearance that will go easily through to Charles Cook. Uh, if you're enjoying the video and the series, leave a like, why not subscribe, go check out Bolt Song's blog at the maisydrivel.com. That's where he is, that's where you'll find him. He's also got a great, great series um, based in the USSR as well, which is a really good laugh, so I'll definitely go and check it out. Now, who do we go for? George Thomas or Filovi? So, Thomas, 4 in 12, he's played pretty well for me. And Filovi, none in seven in the league. So that's quite an easy decision. George Thomas comes on. He sits up there as a false nine. Try and get people in and around him. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get something from this game. And not not them scoring. That's not getting anything from this game. That is giving it away. Mikhail Smith is in a deep position. Madison into Grant. Grant to Bostwick. Good save from Charles Cook. And what else can we do here just to mix this up a bit? Um, we'll actually close them down a bit more. Why not? Let's go for that. As Mikhail, it looked like Mikhail Smith fires 
quite wide. We've um, you've got to step this up a bit. That's a terrible free kick from Lemaire's. We still haven't created a click at times. It's been a game of very, very poor chances. Only three half chances created in the whole game. As Stevenson goes out to Jody Jones, who has been on form recently. We need him to carry that form on and get a selling Thomas to Harry's. Oh, Lemaire's is in loads of space. Shoots wide. We just can't get that cutting edge today. <clears throat> I mean, it's summed up with our shots. Look at that. 13 shots, one on target. That's an abysmal ratio to have. We are working it into the box. We are still working it into the box. And I don't know why. I mean, credit to uh, Peterborough. They're stopping us playing. But we've intercepted that Thomas. Space on the left. Jody Jones is on the right. He's picked it up. Rawson, ball across, looking for Lamelas. But Mikhail Smith brings it away. Great tackle from Foley as the uh, auxiliary holding midfielder. And it's in. Thomas is there. And we've got the goal with five minutes to go. And that's probably our first clear-cut chance. And we've actually put it in. And that is great. And I've not turned replays on as... Oh, Charles Cook with a fantastic save. We'll turn them on uh, now just in case we get another goal or someone else scores. But it was a great finish from Thomas at the near post. Even that didn't count as a clear-cut chance. And Charles Cook is out again. Recovered from his hand injury really well. Didn't lose much in stats-wise after it. And we are still... Well, we're trying to hold Peter off. He shoots into the side netting. Let's just uh, drop this down a bit so we can play a lower tempo. We can retain the possession. Don't pass into space. No need to run at them anymore. Don't really need to look for the overlap and don't need to exploit the middle. We'll drop the line back to narrow, uh, to the middle and go from there. And hopefully we can hold on. Stevenson shoots into the wall, gets it back, shoots, curls it into the top corner. He's got Swansea interested in him and that is a big club that's going to be hard to fence off. So we might look at offering him a new contract as he hits this free kick into the wall. Grant makes a good block of it, actually, but it's gone straight back to him. And that's probably what he should have done with the original free kick, just curl it into that corner. But there we go. It looks like it's going to be a 2-0 win to end my stint as manager. And this is wonderful stuff to leave Pulp Song in like this. And there we go. A good 2-0 win. So the, the narrow 4-2-3-1 didn't really work. As soon as we put a few more wingers on, it was good. Um, and it actually leaves us in third position, which is wonderful stuff. Only four points off Peterborough, who are top, so we just beat top of the league. And we're still going. We are we are in with a very good shout here. So if we have a quick roundup of how we've done, I'll do that press conference later. Well, I'll leave that press conference. No, it's still technically my month, so I'll do it in a minute. Um, George Thomas scored, which is good. And Stevenson was very, very good. He's got, he's got quite a lot of time left on his contract. But as you can see here, wanted by Swansea, which is very, very irritating because if they make a bid, he'll probably say that he wants to move. So overall in the season so far, top goal scorer is Jody Jones, actually, with 10. And then two guys behind him with seven. And then Ben Stevenson, who we're just talking about on six. Assist-wise, our most creative player is Gail Bigliama, the box-to-box -box midfielder. And George Thomas is up there as well with five. So... We are doing pretty damn well. Um, we got knocked out of the FA Cup to Stevenage, as we saw at the beginning of this episode. Uh, we've also got knocked out to West Brom in the EFL Cup. We actually did very well getting to the fourth round. We are flying in the league in third position. The board absolutely love us in mid-table. And credit to Pope Song for negotiating a £50 an extra a week contract for us, which was very good. And we're into the Southern Section third round against Reading under 23s, who I would expect us to beat. Really, I would expect us to beat them. The board are happy in that competition as well. Um, really, not too much else to discuss. We hand over to Pope Song as we go into a transfer window. There aren't any real major injuries or new major injuries at the club. Josh Harrop obviously is a long-term one, but that was Pope Song's fault anyway. And the only other one is Yakubu, who frankly is getting nowhere near the team. Look at that. Eight well, eight starting appearances, six appearances as a substitute, three goals, 6.55. You would expect better from someone of Yakubu's calibre. If you look at his stats, he's got decent stats. It's just, well, work rate five, teamwork nine. It's just all a bit crap, isn't it? It's just that the stats that mean you need effort, determination eight, he's just not going to cope with it, really. We will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Go check out Pulp Song's blog. And I will be back in, what, two Sundays' time, I think it is. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Cheers.